With Black Clover Phantom Knights being kind of dry on Global and even JP right now, uh, I just want to go over some things. Uh, why to save? So, uh, I'm this can be today's video. Nothing crazy. Now, the uh, the Dorothy's been doing really good. So, uh, let's talk about what's coming up. Uh, there's quite a lot of stuff coming up actually. So, uh, yeah. So, oh, they got around the month, month two months ago actually. So let's start off of where we're at right now, Taig Chami. We just got Taig Chami, and so some buffs, Ta Yami, and then Charlotte, which doesn't matter, 7 star. And then we got Jack, so the first actual uh, 7 star. So let's go check him out on Infinity Clover. Um, shout out to Phoenix, thank you for making this site. So, it's a 7 star Jack, so he has Mantis V2. Uh, Mantis V2 and Viper as his formations. So he has 5,775 HP, amazing. Three, uh, 1350 attack. 390 defense, not bad. 810 speed. Int 360. Amazing, amazing. And then 12, to uh, 12 total attacks of random power to all enemies in range. Not bad. For a while, the more AOM participants, the greater crit damage, whatever. A multi-hit attack at a random power to enemies in range. And for a short time, raise own crit rate. Own crit rate increase. So he's raising his crit rate. And then you'll see a bit of stuff after. For a little while, increase own speed and number of act actions. Really nice. So you're increasing your speed. At <laughs> already really high and number of actions. Multi-hit attack, a random power to enemies in range and for a while increase on attack power. Increases attack, crit rate, and speed and number of actions. So he's actually pretty good. Like, he's pretty good. And his art is pretty nice. Uh, if I remember art on screen, that's a 7 star art. So going back to Discord. Then we got 7 star uh, Fuego Leon. Uh, I covered him already. Now Dorothy. Her banner is all right now it would be almost the same one as this banner but even i would say almost worse now if we look on global wait let me see if i keep that statement yeah so we got a worse okay we got fuego leon but yeah he sent star but julia is still better and then uh that's literally all they and then we got dormy also so yeah, ours was kind of better, but even Dorothy's kind of good. But Dorothy has one of the best forms, so she raises red and blue gems. So going to Dorothy. Let's take this out. Let's go here. Uh, enhancer. She's an enhancer. So she has Coral Peacocks, the best um, gem formation in the game. Uh, pretty good HP, really good attack, really good defense, really, really good speed, and really good inch. She has amazing stats overall. Now, Peacocks is going to be good because uh, if it's an A1 formation. So, anything that is in tower, it's going to be perfect. Like, perfect. So, transcend and attack the enemies in range. Critical to sleep the enemies and more attack for a while. Now, she doesn't sleep at all. So, you need Revy Elf Dorothy. So, that's not per that's not good. Now, A1 trash. Give sleep immunity. It's like... And for a very long time, give a great deal of armor itself and allies in range. Give self sleep a while. Amazing. This should be way better if she gives self sleep. Give self sleep. But whatever. That's really good. The armor. So it's her and three in front, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. For a while, self and allies in range will cover HP. Give self sleep for a while. She would be a good person to put in the middle. Except for um, Leo uh, or y Yasta, one of them, and powerful attack. So. This was different, she would be easily amazing, and they took this out, but she is really good, and her formation makes her so worth. So, like, these, I'm telling you why to say, because, like, already with just these two, they're amazing. And you could get him from ticket summons. But no, uh, he's really good. And then they added some pretty nice guy. They only added these people. Oh, Fragment got her. all right. Then, we got the teaser for SD Uno, Tag SD Uno, and then he's here, 1.5 anniversary, and imagine, t um, tower, tower is again in two weeks, and then in two weeks, so in a month, we're already getting them. Like, that's gonna, okay, so in a month, it's gonna be, give me, wait, so, 
we are currently June, so January, February, March, April, May, June. So it came out like it's gonna come out for 0.6 anniversary, right? So, oh, whoops, still on the, yeah. So let's go back. Now we got the teaser, then we got a uh, dud week, and then boom, anniversary and tons of other stuff. Now SD, you know, they're oh, he's so good as Tag SD, and look at this banner, 15 of each. That's perfect. Now, going to Google. Uh, they were null. Yeah, null are really good also. So, book of all things. Attack, recovery, strength, and weakening techniques are slightly easier to activate. Amazing, beautiful. 6000 HP, 1350 attack, 495 defense, 750 speed, 850, 480, not 840, 480 intelligence. All around amazing stats. And he has black bulls making him an amazing unit. Just from the just from this, he's amazing. Now getting on to his skills. Transcendent attacked enemies in range and for a while. High chance to apply buff ban on enemy. You're doing transcendent attack with this attack. And for a while, high chance to apply buff ban. That's amazing. Then multi-hit attack on me and for a while high chance to apply formation seal. Buff ban. Formation seal. Attack on the enemies in range. And for a little while, speed is greatly reduced and low chance to apply stop. He's doing so much, they're doing so much already. And then, gives self analyze invincibility. He's going to be amazing in that spot. Multi-hit attack to all enemies in range. What is this? Multi-hit attack to all enemies in range with this attack. And then, he bans like so many things. Except for AA, he's banning everything. Except for ability also, never mind. It's crazy. He's so good. And... I have him on JP, he, he's so beautiful in his animation. Check out my showcase if you do, like, it's so beautiful. Now, back on Discord, we continue and we get the beautiful art and the beautiful, amazing banner for Type for Golion. Yeah, for Golion, Nozel, Valk Noel, Dwarmy, Bl uh, Blasta, Bl BD, Devil, Seven Star, and Leaked Awakening, back for the first time. This banner, I could use this guy, Noel, uh, de not Devil, and Leak. So I could use one, two, three units from this banner, which is much better than what I needed on the global banner. I only needed Mario, Witch Queen, and Charlotte, but these units are better than I do need. So uh, JP, right? Now, like, it's do it, JP is doing pretty good, but there are definitely some stuff I need to improve on. Which I'm going to be making a video on, like in the next week you're going to expect a video on this. So uh, heading over to Infinity Clover again. This time for Tig Fuegoleon. So Flame Silver Shield. Oh, he didn't add it yet. Uh, it's a weapon, so uh, it, it's pretty good. I'm pretty sure for uh, defenders and healers. So amazing hp better like better than tag sd better than tag sd uh, i think a bit worse worse uh same so he has amazing attack pretty good defense really solid speed really solid int but he doesn't really need it i think okay so transcendent multi transcendent multi-hit attacked enemies in range so uh let me open one second i'm gonna open a new open a new tab okay let's compare the two damage 4xl so you're doing 4xl this is transcendent all right so we're comparing them then you're doing it to all and your um high chance to apply arcane art seal so you're aaing seal then multi-hit attack multi-hit attack and this is just oh so multi and this is multi so better multi-hit so skill one, damage large enemies in range and a high chance to flick slip on Chami. Skill one, attack to enemies within range. Two rows, pretty good. Way better. Oh, same attack. Never mind. For a while, give self an allies high chance to activate counter. Then this is healing. So I feel like with that counter is all right, but it's not amazing. If it also gave defense to heal, that would have been just beautiful. Then powerful multi hit attack to enemies in range and for a while high chance to seal enemy arcane art. So he's like. The AA stopper. Like, he's really, really good. And like, yeah, his his forms aren't the best, but I mean what do you expect? 
he is, uh, I would say, like, third or fourth in between that. Now, uh, there are some other units I want to talk about. So, let's just go to units. So, let's go with attackers. Now, uh, some notable attackers that we don't have. There's really none where I talk about all the ones we do have. Now, defenders. Uh, getting that 7-star Fuego would be pretty cool. Except for that, not amazing ones. As to white, they wouldn't be bad. For healers, there's barely any in the game, which they need to fix. They need to add a lot more and better, better one, like better ones, like actual good ones. Uh, they should rebring this. They should uh, give us Halloween, you know. Uh, what else? There's not much more here. It's more over to the right side, and you'll see why. But we're we're really caught up to the game. Just that we need to get the event car characters and also ooh, what happened here. That's weird. And also, uh, so we need the event characters and someone like White Day Funeral. Well, he's an event. He is so good. He needs to be added. Like, give it to us ASAP. He's so good. He has bulls, which whatever horrible stats. I don't want to talk about him. But he prevents all allies in range for being attacked in for a while. Secret removes are unaffected and increase allies' actions by two times. For a short while increase critical rate and speed of all allies all allies high chance to move a row of enemies to the front and for a long for a long time lower the defense and speed for the secret move meter of one ally and then he, he gets even better then he gets actual good stats same stuff i'm guessing yeah but he gets better stats which is always a blessing so personally he's really good he should be added uh i'm gonna talk a bit more don't want to make this vid too long. Now, I feel like they do need to add this magic shop, but uh, the arena shop. I want to see when they added it to JP. So, yeah. So, it was added in March. It's been like almost... It's going to be three months soon since they added that. Now, White Days came back. Then, we should have gotten it, but we didn't. This was a way better banner for uh, the Julian. Sure, right now we should get seven star mario soon it's been four months for them it seems like we're like uh we're catching up to them at six so we're pro like raya and we got it last month so it seems like we're catching up quite a lot so we should definitely be getting them soon hopefully i really do hope so now uh them evolving like pretty much all the captains like captain 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 uh yeah captain 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 like literally all almost all seven stars are captain captain then you got the captain there like they're they're really focusing on captains which i don't really like i feel like they should add some other stuff really like for real and uh going back to infinity clover uh where was it game guy right so awakening gems they added some awakening gems so i uh there, there's some pretty nice ones i haven't exactly checked check them so only max out at two what do you mean i'm not oh, okay so it, you can only have two max uh so i feel like gems they're pretty no you can only get them once a month jp was supposed to get gems for free but they didn't now, uh, like, globals, uh, this is alright. Now, the login isn't amazing, but it's not bad. Now, uh, there, look, so they added two seven stars like a month ago. Now, well, we have one, two, three, seven stars, four seven stars. And now Yami. So, like, five seven stars are ready in, like, a month and a half or two months around. So, Really, I don't know if that's amazing for the game. I feel like them being caught up isn't good also because ranking. Now, JP isn't going to get ranking. It didn't get a ranking. And like, for global with more people playing, we we need to have the ranking so that people stay more. We need some income of jewels more, in my opinion. Now, Adam like stated the game's kind of dying a bit. A lot of people are saying that. But, okay, Adam didn't directly state it, but he kind his views are going down. All, most of our views are going down, like, 
1.5 Vani was really good for the game. But especially for uh, Global, like they had Phantom Fest, then this. Now it's two weeks, whatever. It's all right. I mean, we got no event, which kind of sucks. But yeah, no, JP should have got an event because it's not ranking. But we're we're probably gonna get something big. We're probably if they want to keep this game going, we're gonna need something special on global. We are getting trash ranking rewards and everything. But that's gonna be for another video. Um, good luck in your rankings. I I might post another video. I don't know if I. Once I be Wizard King, uh, I barely tried, but I, I don't want to put too much time into this at all. Uh, I'll tell you if I do beat it. I'll make a video. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.